Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a dishwasher. There are many different brands of dishwashers out there. The main steps to installing them are usually the same, but you should be aware of any plumbing codes in your area and have the installation manual for your particular model handy so you can refer to it during install in case something's different than the video. Before you begin, shut off the power at the circuit breakers and turn off the water supply. When you remove your old dishwasher, make sure you also remove the hoses as well. If you have any older plastic or rubber ones, it's recommended that you replace them. You can generally reuse stainless steel water fill lines as long as they're not damaged. And if you don't have a stainless steel fill line, it's recommended that you upgrade to one. First take the lower dish rack out of the new dishwasher so it doesn't bang around. Then put a towel down and flip the dishwasher on its back. Then remove the access panel. Underneath, we'll hook up the drain hose. Depending upon your style, it may connect directly to the pump or there may be a fitting at the back of the dishwasher. Once you have it in place, secure it with the clamp. Next, we can connect the water line. It attaches to the water inlet valve. The water line may connect directly to the fitting on the valve or the valve may have a garden hose fitting that you'll need an adapter for. Compression fittings don't require any sealant, but if you have a fitting with regular threads, make sure to use pipe dope or Teflon tape. Be aware, the garden hose fitting has a rubber washer that doesn't require any sealant. Now we'll have to swap the power cord from our old dishwasher to the new one because we have the type with a plug. If you have the hardwired type, We'll show you how to connect it later once the dishwasher is pushed in, since you won't be able to do it now. Take the access panel off the old dishwasher, if it's not off already. Then open up the junction boxes on both machines. In most cases, the wires are connected with wire nuts, so you can simply untwist them. Take the ground wire off, loosen up the strain relief, and pull the cord out. With the power cord off, you can see which wire is which before you connect it to the new appliance. If you're looking at the plug as if it were plugged into the socket, the left wire is neutral and the cord itself usually has ribs on that side. The power wire is on the right and is smooth and the ground is in the center. Put the power cord through the strain relief, then hook up the neutral side to the white wire. the power side to the black wire and connect the ground. Make sure the strain relief is tight. Then you can put the cover back on. Before we lift the dishwasher back up, measure the height of the opening in the cabinet. If your installation manual has a height adjustment chart, you can use it to preset the leg length for your cabinet opening height. Otherwise, you'll want to adjust the legs so the front of the dishwasher is as close to the bottom of the counter as possible and raise the rear leg so it's level. Now we can lift it back onto its feet. Carefully open up the door so it doesn't tip. Check the level front to back and side to side and adjust the legs if needed. This is just a pre-leveling. We're going to check it one more time once it's installed. If your model number calls for it, this is where you would install the moisture barrier to protect the countertop. Get the dishwasher close enough to the counter to be able to feed the lines through the holes in the cabinet. Then push the dishwasher in about halfway, making sure the insulation doesn't bunch up. Then reach underneath the sink and pull on the lines to make sure they're not kinked or caught on anything. Before pushing it in all the way, Install the mounting brackets that came with the new dishwasher. They usually just hook into the frame and you bend a tab over to hold it in place. 
Use pliers to break off any excess so it doesn't stick out from under the countertop. Push the dishwasher in the rest of the way and then go underneath the sink so we can connect the lines. Most drain hoses are universal and come with two different sizes. If the first section is too big, go ahead and trim it off so it fits properly. Then we can connect it to the air gap and tighten down the clamp. Then attach the water line to the hot water supply and tighten it down. If you have the type of dishwasher that's hardwired, this is where you'd attach the wires. Simply route the cord through the strain relief. And connect the wires together, black to black and white to white. Then connect the ground wire and put the cover back on. Open up the door and check for level again. If it's not right, adjust the legs until it's level front to back and side to side. Once it's level, you can use the included screws to mount the dishwasher to the underside of the countertop. Now you can put the lower dish rack in and close the door. Before you put the access panel back on, turn on the power and the water and run a short cycle to check for leaks. If everything checks out okay, you can install the access panel. Once properly installed, your new dishwasher will give you years of sparkling clean dishes. As always, if you have any questions, we're always happy to help at AppliancePartsPros.com.